of conflict. Another issue that the world seems to remain indifferent is the humanitarian tragedy Rohingya Muslims are currently facing. The Independent Commission of Inquiry established under the United Nations has recorded the existence of a genocidal intent behind the events perpetrated in Myanmar's Rakhine State. Turkey will continue to carry out its initiatives and endeavors to ensure the security and fundamental rights of the Rohingyas, as well as the humanitarian relief activities we have undertaken since the first day. The no justice when it comes to Muslims. There were Rohingya Muslims, My Myanmar, who was, who are, God knows, almost a million people out, ethnic cleansing. What was the response of the world community? So what do you think will be the response of 1.3 billion Muslims? I picture my the Rohingyas in Myanmar, many colonies of the West. Many colonies of the West, upon independence, expelled non-natives in their countries. Mr. President, it is indeed unfortunate that I have to again raise this issue in this august body as the Rohingya crisis remains unresolved. We continue to host 1.1 million Rohingyas who were forced to leave Myanmar due to atrocities committed against them. The crisis is now lingering into the third year. Yet not a single Rohingya could return to Myanmar due to absence of safety and security, freedom of movement, and overall conducive environment in Rakhine state of Myanmar. I would request the international community to understand the untenability of the situation. The crisis is now going beyond the camps. Despite our all efforts to contain it, the crisis is now becoming a regional threat. Moreover, increasing congestion and environmental degradation is challenging health and security in the area. Mr. President, we are bearing the burden of a crisis which is Myanmar's own making. It is an issue solely between Myanmar and its own people, the Rohingyas. They themselves have to resolve it. Voluntary return of the Rohingyas to their homes in the Rakhine state in safety, security, and dignity is the only solution to the crisis. We will continue our engagement with Myanmar to make repatriation of the Rohingyas happen. I have earlier in the 72nd UN General Assembly put forth a five-point proposal to resolve the crisis, which included full implementation of recommendations of Kofi Annan Commission and establishment of civilian monitored safe zone in the Rakhine state. Today, I would like to reiterate some of the proposals. First, Myanmar must manifest clear political will supported by concrete actions for sustainable return and reintegration of Rohingyas to Myanmar. Second, Myanmar must build trust among the Rohingyas by discarding discriminatory laws and practices and allowing go and see visit to the northern Rakhine by the Rohingya representatives. Third, Myanmar must guarantee security and safety to the Rohingyas by de deploying civilian monitors from international community in the Rakhine state. Fourth, international community must ensure that the root causes of Rohingya problem are addressed and the violation of human rights and other atrocity crimes committed against the Rohingyas are accounted for. Mr. President, we appreciate the...